Visual storytelling is a thing. You can communicate a lot with blocking, lighting, acting, and set design. It all helps to bring the story to life, and makes everything feel more realistic. This arrangement of visuals is called mise-en-scene, and is absolutely paramount to any good film, in Parasite by Bong Joon-ho. Mise-en-scene not only helps tell the story, but reflects its deeper themes and foreshadows later events. Let's start off by summarizing the plot which will spoil the film, so if you don't want that, you have been warned. Parasite follows the Kim family, a poor family that lives in an underground apartment that is struggling to make ends meet. The son, Kiwo, gets an offer to tutor a rich girl from his friend Min, which gives him the opportunity to finally make some bank. Once he is an established tutor, he realizes that he can manipulate the girl's mom, Young Gyo, into employing his whole family to work for the Park family. Therefore, we will analyze how this is visually reinforced in the first 16 minutes of the film, showing why the events of the plot feel so natural for the characters. Here's the opening shot. It shows a few socks hanging out to dry. The imagery immediately tells us that we are in a low-income household. Next, we see Kiwo trying to get into IP time, a Wi-Fi, and is failing to guess the password like a normie. This shows that 1. His family cannot afford Wi-Fi, and 2. That he is a freeloader. We then see the rest of the house, with things sprawled about at every nook and cranny, adding a sense of disorganization and clutter. To get a signal, Kiwo and his sister Ki Jung have to climb up these awkward steps to the toilet just to get a connection. This goes to show that they will leech off others and that they are also in a less than fortunate situation. We're only three minutes in and we've already established two major themes, one of poverty and one of scrounging. It sets up the main plotline perfectly and it makes it believable for these characters to leech off others. Hell, they do it right here with the pizza box girl. They surround her like a bunch of vultures, manipulating her into giving their pay early. The blocking shows how the power dynamics switch and also the parasitic nature of the Kim family as they're all in this together. This this also acts as a less extreme version of what they do to the Park family later down the line, foreshadowing their scheme. The theme of power is an important one, and repeats visually many times. We have this bro, who is shown at the absolute lowest of the low. The Kim family holds more power and control in this situation because they are inside drinking together as a family, in comparison to the dude that is completely inebriated before dark. Then Min shows up, and sticks it to the man. He is a young college student and is dressed well, which gives him more power than the Kim family. This is reflected in Kiwo's embarrassment to show him his home and state it's in. They even have to move a bunch of clutter off the table just to get his present to fit. We also get to see that power dynamic thing with lighting, as Min has a much warmer background here and Kiwo has a colder one. Min is shown to be even more powerful by gracing Kiwo with the tutoring opportunity, which is all about his trust in him. Trust, as most other themes, plays a major role in the story, as it is the mechanic which the Kim family is able to get hired by the Park family. Min plants the ideas that Kiwo should not worry about credentials and that the mother of the family is simple, foreshadowing the manipulation to take place. When Ki Jung forges his university documents, it shows her artistic craft and how she also uses that to teach the son of the Park family. Also, Kiwo doesn't think of this forgery as a crime because he plans to go to that university next year. This shows his ambition and how he will pretend to be something he is not and then actually become something later, just like a parasite. Now one thing to note is how the film at large is a commentary on capitalism, which is sort of apparent seeing the contrast between the Kim and Park family's residences. I mean, the Park family basically has a park in their front lawn, so they're doing pretty damn good. I think the most clever thing Parasite does is show this by using housing elevation to illustrate social class. Classes. The Kim family is quite literally halfway underground, while the Park family is up this very big hill that is far more elevated than all the other houses. I mean, if that isn't a metaphorical jab at capitalism, I don't know what is. Let's talk about the snow motif, because that one is interesting. They actually foreshadow it being important twice in the beginning, with the mentioning of the stink bug and then the fumigation to kill that stink bug, which makes everyone physically ill and almost die. This relates to Kim ki smell, as it is repulsive to the Park family, which feeds into the power dynamic thing again. Also, the window being open for fumigation foreshadows the window being open as a bad thing, as it is how water floods their entire home later in the film. Sorry for spoiling that, but by now it should be visually apparent that Bong Joon-ho is like the second coming, and should probably be worshipped because of how good he is at filmmaking. I just went over the first 16 minutes of the film and uncovered so many major themes of the story, while also finding many instances where future events are foreshadowed. This is why Parasite is so good, and feels so natural. Characters are developed so that their actions later down the line make sense, because because they've been doing it all along. It creates a sense of unity and order in the film which people tend to enjoy. They enjoy it because it's clever, and it shows that a lot of thought went into the character building and the themes being represented. And that's why Parasite does such a great job at making the motif of smell such a key part of the film. 